timeline feature so I, I can't show you on the computer so I'm gonna have to share my screen I'm gonna show you Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Snapchat I'm sure you've heard about Snapchat 10 I don't know how many years ago five six years ago when it first started out you know everybody said it was for teenagers for kids to do crazy stuff now it's one of the platforms that not too many people use because it's misunderstood or people think well you know Instagram is better TikTok's better and all that but they're doing some really cool stuff and you should check it out I'm going to show you how to use the new timeline features and some of the other stuff you can do with Snapchat that you can do with other platforms and I'm going to show you how to use your Snapchat to record and then share it to other platforms we're going to get in right into that but just but first <laughs> this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right sorry about that so we're gonna get into how to use Snapchat to record and use the timeline feature that lets you do some really cool stuff that you couldn't do before and it's it's pretty new because it's not even they don't even talk about it in, on the website I didn't even notice but we'll show you that in just a second and I want to remind you before we get into that that if you are listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video because I'm definitely going to be sharing my phone screen my laptop screen and showing you lots of cool stuff go check it out at cis404 dot j s g a g n o n dot com to see the video in the blog post all right so let's get right to it let's share my screen here so right over here so as you can see you know with uh, snapchat they have uh, millions of lenses now lenses are these things like you see right there that are kind of like you know showing uh, different views of your face but you 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 know that they have that in Facebook they'd have that in Instagram they have that in TikTok they're called filters or lenses or whatever but that's not you know the most important thing you know if I look at when they talk about uh, how to get inspired all these things are you know maps that's something but that isn't even what I want to talk about right now I want to talk about the stuff that has to do with the timeline feature so I, I can't show you on the computer so I'm gonna have to share my screen I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about let's go right to my phone if I where's my phone right over here all right so now this is you know your phone you go to the snapchat obviously you got to record uh, you got to go into it and the way that it works is with snapchat right I can just go like this and I can record a video like this I just press the button I can flip the camera around while I'm recording hey how's it going I'm actually doing a recording right now in my video I'm going to do this episode where I talk about the snapchat filters not the filters not the filters not the filters I'm going to be talking about the timeline recording and how that works so stay tuned for a video and also for the blog post that's actually going to show how this works so as you can see these are filters millions of lenses they call them but that's not we're going to we're going to talk about and, and I as you can see right now I'm recording this inside my episode I'm actually doing the video right now and if I, you see my recording right there whoops let's flip it around you see my recording right there that's actually me recording and that's my OBS that's going and I'm actually going to show you how to do that with uh what are you, you know stay tuned we're going to talk about what are uh the timeline feature in snapchat all right see you in a bit okay so now this is recorded okay so now this is recorded right now on my phone you can see it on my phone it's playing back right and I just turned the volume down because I don't need to hear it but I'm doing I'm going to share this right now this is a normal I actually download it normally I press the download button to save it to my phone because this is one of the things right and this is not about the timeline stuff that I'm talking about this one of the cool things I like about snapchat is I can actually save the video which you can do with all the other platforms but I can save the full 60 second video and then I can share that video to Instagram to Facebook to TikTok as reels you know as stories and I don't have this um this um what's it called the, the the watermark on it like you do on TikTok 
and one of the things that I found that was missing is lots of the stuff you can do with TikTok, and that's what this new timeline thing lets you do a lot of it and so I'm just going to click on send to right here I'm going to put uh, my spotlight my story and my snap map and then I'm just going to click on send that what happens now is that that gets sent to um as you can see at the top the the green the, the blue bar at the top is just showing you that it's sending because in snapchat it splits it up into 10 second pieces and that means six videos are going up in snapchat all the same 60 second video right but that's again that's not the timeline thing you got to stay tuned you got to stay tuned it's coming it's coming I just want to show you the process I go through with the sharing on the different platform now after that I go into my Instagram oh right now I'm not on the right account let me switch over to my regular account so I go into my into my uh, Instagram right and then I go plus right here and then story right so I create a story and I use a recorded video this recorded video right here and one of the things is that Instagram what it does it'll split the video up you see down the bottom there there's four little boxes that's because it took this 60 second video and split it into four separate videos that are about 15 seconds each and it lets me uh, share that like this right so I just click on next and I just say it to my story and share and then it shares it to my story and at the same time what it does right with with uh with my that's a nice <laughs> with my stories if I go to my story and I swipe up here I can see that it's actually uploading posting right depending on how fast your internet is, obviously that changes but until it's done all the uploads I want to wait till it finishes uploading so that I can have those 15 second videos to then share on Facebook because if I don't um if I don't wait and if I try to share the full 60 second video on Facebook it'll mess it up sometimes it messes it up I don't know if it does it still now but it used to so that's why I do it like this I just wait for this okay so now while that's happening let's go back to our snapchat and do the timeline thing how does the timeline thing work I'm going to do another video here and I'm going to show you how to use the timeline the cool thing about the timeline thing is that you can actually it's kind of like if you've used TikTok it's similar to that in the sense that you can record little bits you know move around and do things you don't like I could do for example recording something outside a little uh, a 10 15 second thing outside then I can come come up here in my office and record something on my computer screen then I could wait you know half a day and record something later on in the evening all in the same uh, video right and uh, that's kind of what the timeline thing lets you do that's one thing it lets you do but the other thing which I don't even think I don't even think you can do that with TikTok is it lets you upload pieces of videos that are already on your phone so if I go like this let's do this right now okay so all right so let's show you how the timeline thing works so here's how it works now you see I recorded this short little less than 60 second video and you see there's a little plus there's a little plus right next to my short little video and you see if you really watch carefully you're going to see a little vertical line going across my face in that tiny little box down the bottom but if I click the plus right here now it switches over into timeline mode see how it says timeline mode enabled up there now I haven't used this that much so there's probably other ways maybe that that video there up there would have been the way to enable it too I'm not sure but now now what's happening is that I can actually flip my camera around I can do other things and I can actually start another bit of video so there you go so now this now we're in timeline mode as I can see I'm pressing the record right here and that is showing the line down the bottom and then so now when you see how it, it reached all the way to the end that's because the first part is 10 seconds then it goes to the 60 second mark and it shows you uh the rest uh, actually it's probably less than 60 probably 30 maybe right now and then it'll if I keep going it'll add to it but the thing is and I can do this like this and if you're watching my video you can see that the little line at the bottom the yellow line is growing as we go so each time I press it and I let go it stops the recording but as you can see down the bottom the little lines are kind of adding to each other right and you can see down the bottom the little lines are adding to each other as I'm doing this video right now right 
and the other thing you can do is you can add a sound now if I, I don't know if there's a way to do it differently than this but it seems like if you add a sound it cuts out your voice so there's things you can do in uh <laughs> in in TikTok that you can't do yet here but this still there's still one other one benefit that I really like about the snapchat <laughs> so I can actually enable a filter right now let's go here and I'm going to see I can be this guy or I can be this mo this uh, bunny <laughs> or I can be this dude here or this dude right here as you can see it's continuing to record and I can flip between all these different people I can even be a dog <laughs> and so as you can see these things are all being added to my video down the bottom there and I can be a clown too and I can record things and then as you can see down the bottom it's actually in, like if you're watching my episode right now you, I'm actually recording you can see on the screen my phone screen down the bottom you can see the little yellow line that's adding to it now the other thing you can do too is you can actually add a pre-recorded video if I go over here I just close this little guy then on the right on the left hand side of that little circle there's a little plus right a little yellow plus I press on that it goes into my recorded videos and I can actually go into here and add some of these other videos I had like I have this unicorn thing that I've been working on so I can actually choose to add because I only have whoops because I only have uh five six seconds left of the um re remaining on the full video I can only put a little bit of it here sure right so I can actually do this let's just do this like this can I have a nice where's a I want to see a there you go that's pretty good let's do that then I'm going to do this like this now I've added that to my video there too and yeah so that's what you can do now you can save it so now it's finished if I didn't go all the way to the end I would have had I could have pressed the little uh, blue um <laughs> yellow check mark on the bottom but it basically it's the same thing now I've got a video now there's a plus there which um I'm not really sure if I I don't want to click it right now because I'm not sure how to use that but I'm I'm not sure if that lets you add more or if it just lets you go edit your your things but as you can see we're just going to download this and we're just going to save that and we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one we're just going to go and share it to snapchat for one first <clears throat> and then we can uh once it's saved right once it's saved I can share it to Instagram and everything so the same thing right I click on send to I choose the spotlight because I always like using a spotlight my story and the snap map and this is the thing if you're a marketer if you're doing online stuff you want to be public you want to be sharing everything to everywhere uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this spotlight thing in the story in the snap map right because uh, potential for people to see you more right so I'm just going to share this like this I could have done more right obviously adding text oh this is the other thing you can actually go uh let's go to share it in my Instagram again <coughs> and then um share that to my Instagram plus story all right so I'm going to share this to my Instagram again like this share <coughs> and then done all right so now if I now if I go to snapchat again I want to do I'm not going to save this one but I just kind of want to show you if you're watching the video of my episode you're going to get this bonus obviously you're watching right now because you're hearing but so <clears throat> if we do uh there's text you can do text that's delayed right so I can go, go and record this like this I can do this recording like this and I can add text on my face that's going to show up for a little bit of time then disappear then some more text will show up a little bit so we're actually going to do that we're going to actually show you how the text shows I'm actually I guess I will be sharing this too so this is the text part of the timeline kind of process right so let's do that and now I can uh add some text and if I say text text 
before before text will this well let's just say this text will disappear disappear right so I do that like this I can do whatever it doesn't matter I'll do this like that you can do you can resize it move it you can do this like this right now if I want this text to like right now the default is it's going to be there for the whole video right but if I wanted to show just a little bit of the video I can do this like this I hold it and then I say set duration and then over here I can choose down here how long I want it to show right so if I if I do that like that actually let's move it a little bit and then put it right there oops so there so now that's letting me show that text for that little period of time where you see the you know where it's grayed out is it's not going to show right so if I just click on this and now it's playing it's not it let's just whoops okay so now you saw the text disappear right I can add some more text and now I can say here's more text whoops what happened there did I lose oh no okay next I must have pressed something wrong so here's more text that will disappear too okay so I'm going to put this with this color make it uh make it I don't know make it yellow uh, I can do this like this okay done and then again I can resize this down here put it over here hold my finger on it set duration and then I'm just going to move this all the way down to here and then there we go and then I'm going to add some more that's going to say that's new that's new snapchat feature snapchat feature there you go that up here actually let's make it you know red I don't know like this and then I'm going to just go and make this just show up at just the end set duration again and I'm just going to put it down here to the bottom and as you can see I can see where that other text is right you can see this uh, the the grayed out part that's kind of showing me that at this point this text shows up so now I want to just make sure that this is gone when I show that other one right there we go so now we're gonna I, unless that first thing disappeared because of whatever happened there I'm not sure we'll see in a second yeah I guess maybe the first text disappeared it doesn't it's not showing right it must have not saved it right as I said it's a new feature of snapchat so it's kind of like this text I'm going to put it back this text will disappear and then let's make this uh, like I had before it was this I think like this one and then I'll make this go like this put that up here I'll do it again set duration and then I'm just going to make sure it shows up here there we go and do it like this all right so I think now we have <laughs> we have the three of them showing up and they're going to disappear each in time and that's going to be you know the snapchat way of doing the showing the hiding the stuff so I'm just going to share this again actually I downloaded it first <clears throat> now by the way if you don't download it before you share it that's one of the things with snapchat if you forget to download it before you share it it's it's kind of hard to download the whole thing there, there might be a way but I I always find it uh, difficult I end up having to download the 10 second pieces and putting them back together with a tool and the other thing too is that if you don't want this text to be on your video if you want just a pure video with no text then you can download it add the text before you share it so that way you have the video with no text and you can add text depending on the platform you're using you know based on what you actually uh, want to use right so now I'm just going to share this like this again on my spotlight my story and my snap map and then I'm going to um again go back to Instagram to do that too so if I go back to Instagram now I have my other uh, story here <coughs> and I can swipe up I can see that these are all shared now right so if I press this I don't think this does the same thing right let me see if I do this for the last one yeah okay that does work because you know one of the things I found with Instagram is that if you sh if you uh, try to upload a story 
when you're in your profile you click the plus story it'll just load the first 15 seconds of the video it won't load the rest if it's longer than 15 seconds you have to be in your feed press the plus story for it to be able to upload a full video in case you didn't know that I'm going to share this again <clears throat> and now that I have the videos that are shared on my uh Instagram like these two are, are still uploading so I'm gonna wait for those to upload right once they're uploaded then what happens is yeah so then what happens is that you can use you can upload them because you'll have all these 15 second videos saved automatically by Instagram and then you can actually go into your Instagram into your Facebook and upload them there right so then you can go here I can upload this so now I, you can see right here I have all these 15 second videos so this 21 second right there the 215 that's because it shares it to Instagram then it shares the Facebook so it saved both I don't know how to change that uh but then you have the other one right so I have the other one that's here which is the 59 second one 15 14 14 and 14 right so the last ones and then the very first one I did right here which is this 59 15 so I'm going to start with this 15 second one I share it then I do another one here I go back to that oops go back to where that was this is the first one here so number two is this one I share that one I'm just sharing each of them right so I can I can share them and show you how I'm doing it so now number two number three number one two three this is three <coughs> and then four we have a lot we have a lot right I did a lot of them so I'm going to do them all here so I've got I've got one two three and four is this one okay and then and one thing I found is that sometimes the video doesn't get saved right so you got to kind of watch it for the ones that are here but this is a 59 one so I'm going to put this one here first and then uh, and then one of the things that I found is with Facebook you can actually share them all one after the other like this even if they're and it's going to keep them in the right order right but you can't do that with uh Instagram uh it used to be there was LinkedIn and Twitter that had stories too but you couldn't do that there but so I'm just going to do that over here do that here then the next one then the next one the dog right no actually I did the last one here and then finally these two last ones there we go and the two last ones there we go okay so now they're all shared to Facebook and I can talk about other stuff let's go back to here go back to Snapchat <clears throat> and I don't know what else what else there is I've been kind of learning about Snapchat but like I said you can actually add things which I did I showed you how to add things and that's kind of the cool thing about Snapchat all these things are, oh and like here's a few maybe a few other little tips that you that are you know unique to Snapchat in a way that well see these filters these lenses right these lenses are unique to Snapchat even though the similar functionality exists in other platforms the Snapchat ones are really much better and there's so many more right if I go here it shows me all the different ones right and you see do you notice some of them have this is bald guy <laughs> so some of them have a little um if I go here I can say I can star that uh, not start but hard it and that becomes a favorite of mine so that gets added to my my uh, favorites right and when I look through well this guy here this is pixelated fella right so I'm not sure maybe I already yeah see this one's already hearted right so that lets you find the ones that you really like the ones you like the most and the ones with the little blue are I think I thought those were because they're no maybe not I'm not sure what the blue thing is but I'm going to start this one too <laughs> look at that smile oh my god <laughs> that is crazy I gotta record this look at this smile isn't that totally insane so now I've got this short little thing and then I can again I can press and let's see uh, da, 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 da. no it's there's nothing on the side there that looks like it. I gotta press this plus here and now I've got timeline mode enabled I'm not sure what else there is oh yeah there's other things so there's a grid you can have a grid you can have a countdown timer um that's nice 
so I can actually do it countdown timer set timer I guess I haven't used that so let's try it set timer so what's going to happen is it going to start recording on its own in a second let's see is this this guy hey, what's this one whoa what is this what is this so there's the pink pink dude this one here what's this one whoa wow what happened there who hit you so I don't know the timer I guess isn't doing anything it doesn't seem uh, I guess I turned it off so this is the old dude dancing mustache eh? this is the dancing mustache I don't know but you know this is the dancing mustache I don't know about this one but you see my hair up top it's kind of sticking out so that that's not good okay so um what is this I don't know what that was hmm. similar ones maybe oh so look at this this is another mustache dude isn't that funny oh now this guy has the right glasses <laughs> so as you can see there's millions and millions of filters now you can actually go uh if you click on the name the thing here you can have, go to the lens page right here which lets you see this particular guy's uh, lenses and who out who I guess these are people that tried the lens maybe I'm not sure uh and then you can also go to more lenses right here and it lets you see all the different lenses that you can actually use in snapchat right so there's a lot of stuff so let's you know I, I I'm not recording but let me just do that over here uh where's my I guess I can't I can't can I I can't show this inside of snapchat other other than yeah I'm not really sure but anyways there's trending there's face there's world there's music creators explore creators these are who the people that created lenses right uh but if I go back here I can actually go to ex, I guess ex, export lens oh okay I don't know what that is I guess it would share the lens to to you know other things <clears throat> but yeah so if you click on that little uh thing I guess you can't see it right now if you, there's a there's a thing on top you can actually go to lenses if you go check out my video you're going to see more about this the video won't be up until a few days <clears throat> so let's see if it goes past the I want to see if it goes past the um, the 60 seconds right so I'm going to try another one here what is this a guy that's got oh <laughs> now this guy here let's see if it goes past this it does it did go past so I'm not sure how long of a video we can do with the story the timeline feature but let's let's check right let's go try different things and then here's another one well that kind of looks weird I guess it's I guess it's kind of like um a oriental fella right he's got long hair and he's he's like a karate king or something right all right so now if I go back here whoops go back to the beginning uh let's see can I explore where there's a search bar down the bottom oh, okay let's do a zombie am I a zombie whoa and now I'm a zombie Ugh. Ugh. right uh, let's see what else is there there's a little monkey you can have a little monkey right next to you right like this uh pixelated fella bald guy uh little monkey little old face and then if I click on those I guess it shows me similar ones does it whoa baby with a mustache this is a baby with a mustache baby face so we'll see how oh there you go that's it so that's the end of it so that's how long I'm not sure but okay now let's try the plus thing what that will do if I click on the plus here does it let me do more hmm <laughs> so let's see if I go on this do you want to exit timeline mode nine segments no I don't want to do that cancel okay so now what can I do with these can I change them or something no I guess I can't there must be a way to what about create there's this create thing whoa what is that what am I supposed to do this oh <laughs> look at that isn't that funny so can I do that oh you've reached the recording limit okay so there you go so I guess the longest you can do is 60 seconds and I can click on okay here and I'll just click the little uh, check mark 
there might be a way for me to edit these or delete them can there because on on TikTok right you can actually do that right on TikTok you can actually change this is cool right you can actually go and remove pieces there might be a way to do that but uh but okay so let's just click on the plus and as you can see right now that let then I can download it and I can upload it and I can save it on all those things right similar to any other any, and all the other ones I showed you right so that's kind of how it works the plus thing on the side when you first record your shortest your your start your start video doesn't have to be short it can be a 30 second video to start with then you pr press the plus it lets you add another one instead of just finish it because normally you would finish right once you've gotten your first recording you would just finish your recording right but in this case what we're doing is we're actually doing the uh the timeline which lets you add videos to it right and like I said you can add some music <clears throat> if I go back to the plus here I can say add a sound and then I can choose this all these different songs right there's just, just tons of them you can probably you can make some favorites right so if I go here and I choose uh this one oh actually it adds it let's just go back here and uh, I want to play it instead if I go to hip-hop I can play this so I can't really hear it it's not what... so any of these right I can just play them to see what they sound like to decide whether I want to add them just the same as any other all the other um, music things and you can add it to your video and then when you save it it'll be on the video right and as you can see right there there's a little heart next to it I can heart it now when I go back to my favorites now that one's in the list right so that's kind of how you get them and I guess on the recents would be where you have and then my sounds would be things you create can I create a sound upload from camera record sound very cool so I can actually do that myself I can record a sound hey I'm recording a sound oh hey I'm recording a sound right now this is my sound what are you are what are you doing what are you doing with your sound and there you go so that's my sound I'm going to save it as my sound and then make this sound public I don't know what that'll do <laughs> would anybody be using this save this sound oh my name Jean-Serge Gagnon save the sound so I don't know if that'll ever be used by anybody but I thought that's kind of funny we'll see how that goes and uh yeah so I just recorded my own sound and uh so yeah so anyways that's kind of how you use the timeline feature in snapchat hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions as always you can always reach out and until next time have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.